Neighbours, after 37 years, the final ever episode airs later this month. And our weekday afternoons will never be the same again. That's when good neighbours become good friends. I'm sorry, I, I don't know your name. Match. Match Bishop. Your wife. I can't do this. The wedding's got to stop. I can't marry you. I love you. Some of the show's most memorable moments there, and joining me now is Alan Fletcher, Neighbours Dr Carl Kennedy. Oh, you've had a life. <laughs> and live from Australia, Jackie Woodburn, <laughs> Ramsey Street, Susan Kennedy. Hello, Jackie. We're Hello, all Jackie. Hello. Lovely to be here. Hi, Fletcher. <laughs> How Hello, are you? Alan. I'm good. It's wonderful. Alan, good. can you remember your very first day on Ramsey Street? Oh, it's, it, it's burnt into my memory. I was with Jesse Spencer standing on... Ramsey Street, purchasing 28 Ramsey Street without actually advising Susan that I was doing it. Mind you, very typical of Carl. Yeah. Um, and I remember... <laughs> he was a bad boy. Oh, oh. I mean, I, I, of course, was starting to establish a character straight away and he yeah. was very, very prim and proper. I mean, Cody Willis said, uh, Mr... called him Mr Kennedy. He goes... His doctor, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of your first lines? Yeah, one of the very first lines. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And you've been through everything, haven't you? From divorce, amnesia, uh, yeah, from slipping on a bit of milk and all sorts of different things. What makes your characters so loved? Because they have been loved. Well, I think it's the fact that uh, Carl and Susan have... Uh, the, the, when they make mistakes, they don't do it maliciously, you know. They, they still care for each other and their family very, very much. But they do make terrible, terrible mistakes, particularly Carl. Susan's actually very good. <laughs> um, and, and, of course, the, the power of forgiveness is so important. And I think the audience relates to that. They can relate to us as real people. Yeah. Would you agree with that, Jackie? You know, yeah, I, mean, I do. I think, I, you know, I think fundamentally they are each other's best friends. So... Um, despite all the, the things that they've been through. And there have been several times that Fletcher and I have thought, well, how do we come back from this? How will these characters come back from this? This is going to break them forever, surely. But I think it just gives them another layer of, of um, you know, of humanity, really. And, and ultimately, as I say, they're, they're each other's best mate. Yeah. yeah. And you narrate the final episode, Jackie. Was that emotional, an emotional thing to do, to think this really is the last <sighs> one? I, I cannot tell you how emotional it was. The challenge for all of us of, on that filming that very last episode was that the, the episode, the scene is actually a very joyful, happy scene, but we were all feeling so emotional. We were like a second away from tears the whole time, so it was a huge acting challenge to not bring our own sadness and, and, and emotional context into the scene because as I say it was a happy scene but I was I was thrilled to to be given that opportunity to kind of narrate I guess is the right word that that last that last scene mm. it's oh, wonderful you've got a little grab of it that's cheap yeah it's lovely <laughs> we've seen it all over here I have to say now, Alan Kylie and Jason yes Kylie and Jason are back is but, that good to see them? Well, of course, it's wonderful to see them. It's a, it's a, I, I love seeing Guy Pearce as well, Peter O'Brien. So many people came back. And they all said to me that they were delighted to come back because they have such gratitude yeah. towards Neighbours. They recognise the fact that Neighbours helped to train them and gave them huge success in the industry. So they all just said, yep, of course we'll come back, which is fabulous. Oh, look at that. Oh, look how young they look. That goodness me. Mm. Now, Jackie, it's not the end for UK Neighbours fans. You're going on tour, you two. Mm. Jax, do you want to tell everyone? Yes. Well, yes, I'm very, very excited to announce that uh, Fletch and I will be coming to the UK next March to do a series of, of shows right around the UK, kicking off in Belfast and finishing some weeks later at the London Palladium. So we're 
both so excited and so looking forward to getting this opportunity to it's called the farewell tour but I think we're we're thinking of it as the thank you tour mm. it's it's the chance to kind of you know be with the fans and and honor the show honor the fans and really go out with a bang yeah it's going to be extraordinary the, the, the shows have already been on sale they're selling out everywhere there's more shows going oh. on sale tomorrow they'll be going crazy yes there's a little pre-sale actually starts tomorrow at 10 a.m that's on the maple tree productions website so you have to unfortunately you have to subscribe to the website of course Mand to get the pre-sale but we're so all the fans who know absolutely everything about neighbors because a lot of people watched it for all of these years right i <laughs> think perhaps they know more about it than you do Ooh. so i've got a little quiz for you oh here's a challenge okay <laughs> oh no all right you know so, uh, fast here answers please charlene and scott's <laughs> wedding in 1987 iconic but which hollywood star now hollywood star was the best man guy pierce guy pierce guy pierce, guy pierce. Guy pierce. well done question two where did carl and susan remarry we married, remarried, Jack, so on the Thames in London. Oh, on the Thames. Which time, though? Which time? <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. It was freezing, the wind was howling, and Izzy turns up and had a baby right there and then. Oh, that's wonderful. right. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Question three. Who can forget Toadie's iconic mullet? Mm. But what year did Lou Carpenter chop off the mullet? Oh, Jax. Jackie. Posh, I'm just going to say 2000. Oh, no, no. Not bad. Oh, no? What do you think? Uh, I would I would have thought it was more like 98. Do you know what? It was 99. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'll give you a point each. 50 cents each nice way. <laughs> <laughs> Question four. Harold was swept off the rocks and presumed dead, only to come back a few years later. It is so poor after all. Right. But what medical condition, I'll ask you, did he return with, Alan? He had amnesia. He couldn't remember uh, anything of his past and the fact that he was married to Madge. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's quite a common complaint well, in Erin's so, amnesia. So it's it's retro, like a virus, yeah. really. Yeah, well, you've had retrograde amnesia. <laughs> retrograde amnesia. <laughs> Everyone's forgetting Woke everything. Up and well, it's easy. Thought I was done. sixteen. Right. <laughs> the final question, because you're doing very well, both of you. Banter the dog's dream is a favourite moment for a lot of fans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't believe I'm asking this. But what <laughs> was Banter dreaming of, Jax? Oh, was it his his girlfriend dog? Yes, he was he was dreaming of a, of a female partner. Yes, the, the dog Do you know that he Alan? loved. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know yes. what his female partner was called? Oh, I don't. <gasps> oh, gosh. oh, it's my shame. No. I don't. Because uh, I've got the notes. It was Rosie, oh, the no. border collie. He was dreaming of running away with his crush. Oh, a nice thing. I loved that episode. <laughs> It's lovely. Yeah. It's fantastic that you're going on tour. It is. It's going to be it very will exciting. please a lot, very an awful exciting. lot of people. who will yeah. be sad to see neighbours go because it was, you know, it was uh, it was a fantastic series. Yeah, and yeah. congratulations yeah. for everything that you've done through all of those years. Thank you. And thank you, Jax. And I uh, hope to see Absolute you when you come over to the UK. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you. Thank Thanks, you very thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. Neighbours continues for the time being, weekdays at 1.45 and 6pm on Channel 5 with a final ever episode on Friday the 29th of July at 9 o'clock in the evening. So.